Okay, so here's one of the Khan Academies I have assigned for completing this square. This is an intermediate one on Khan Academy. Um, I went ahead and opened up all the hints just so that I can kind of walk through how they explain the hints in case you use those and try to connect it to how I've taught you in class, okay? So this one says rewrite the function by completing the square. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my drawing tool. Let's see here if I can get them over a little bit. Okay. So we have the equation um, x squared minus 2x minus 95. And what you guys are used to is having this equal to 0. So it's really just replacing that f of x and making it equal to 0. That's totally fine. Okay, so just to keep it similar to what you were used to, we're going to go and draw our line. All right. So I'm going to do it how I do it, and then we'll go through the hints and look at their work. So here's what I would do. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and add 95 to both sides. So then it crosses out here, and I'm left with a blank spot. So I have x squared minus 2x blank equals positive 95. Okay. And then now what we're going to do is add, we have to add the b over 2 squared to both sides, which is negative 2 over 2 squared, which is negative 1 squared. Negative 1 squared is 1. So we are adding 1 to both sides here. Okay. So now we're going to do x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 96. All right. So let's see here now. If I rewrote this, now I have to rewrite it as x plus b over 2 squared. My b, again, is this negative 2 here. So my b is negative 2, and then divide that by 2. So this is going to be x plus negative 1 squared. So I'm going to go and write that here. So this, if we were to have factored that, we would get x minus 1 squared equals 96. So now I'm like, okay, well, look at here. They want it written in this form where everything is to the right side or to one of the sides. So here what I'm going to do now is move this 96 back over here to the left. Okay. So now we have x minus 1 squared minus 96 equals 0. And earlier we had replaced this the f of x with 0, right? So now we can just go backwards and replace the 0 with f of x. So our answer should be x minus 1 squared minus 96. So pause the video if you don't have all of that written down, and then we're going to look through um, we're going to look through their work here as well. Okay, they do it a little bit differently than I did it. So here we would put negative one, and then negative ninety six here. All right, so I'm going to go and hide the scratch pad, and then remember we got negative one and negative ninety six. Okay. So here's how they did it. They said, okay, we want to complete x squared minus 2x into a perfect square. So they focused only on the x squared minus 2x. To do that, we should add negative 2 over 2 squared equals 1. So add the 1 to each side. Okay. And then they rewrote it without all the steps that we normally do. They instantly rewrote it as x minus 1 squared. So they have a lot more experience with this. So they're assuming you guys have more experience but just remember the steps that we take to get there. So in order to keep the expression equivalent, we add and subtract 1 because 1 minus 1 is 0. So they kept all of this stuff going on on the same side here. So they went from here. Let me go and do my little writing here. I'm going to erase some of this stuff. Let's see if I can erase more. All right, so let me walk you through what they did here, okay? They did it very differently than ours. Sorry, my pen's being a little weird. Okay, so here, what they did was they just kind of ignored this guy, and they knew that, okay, I have to complete the square of this, and in order to do that, I have to add 1 to it, and then that will give me this here. So you guys can even set up an algebra tile for that. 
you can do an x squared and then a negative 1x on each side, and then that means that you would have a 1 that you needed to add to complete the square. So here they rewrote x squared minus 2x plus 1 to x minus 1 squared. But you see here, we still have this minus 95, and normally whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So like, I would be adding 1 over here, but I don't want to add 1 to the left-hand side. They wanted to leave everything over to one side. So how they did it was instead of adding 1 there, they subtracted it over here because if I had added 1 here, if I wanted to move it, I would subtract 1 from both sides. So that's where this guy would come from, okay? So in essence, I should have written like this. That's the minus 1, okay? So this is where they get, and it gets a little bit tricky. You have to really try to wrap your head around it. But just know that either way you do it, it's, it's the same. You should get the same answer. So here now, since we had to do that minus 1 to balance out this, because we can't just add the 1 and move on, we have to keep it balanced. So keeping it balanced on the same side means subtracting that same number. So now we have negative 95 minus 1. That simplifies down to minus 96. And this here is actually in vertex form. So this is something that you guys are going to learn. And that's why Khan Academy wants you to know how to rewrite it to look like this in this form instead of having one number on the other side and then the perfect square on the other side. Because they did not ask us to solve for x here. If they asked us to solve for x, we would have left the, uh, the 96 on the other side. But they did not ask us to solve for x here. So you guys see over here on my work, to solve for x, we would have just left this 96 over there. Okay, and then we would have taken the square root of both sides here, right, and then solve for x. But they don't want that. They wanted us to rewrite it into this form here. Okay, so that's where it gets a little bit tricky. So this one, if we check, there we go. Okay, so let's do one more. So here I have x squared plus 12x minus 69. So if I have x squared plus 12x, if you guys want to do it my way, this is how we're going to do it. First, we're going to get rid of the 69, just to ignore it for a little bit. Okay, so that cancels out. We have a blank spot here. We have x squared plus 12x blank equals positive 69. So now we have to complete the square. So we can just ignore this side for a little bit, okay? Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. So to complete the square, we need to add b over 2 squared to both sides. Well, my b is 12. So I have 12 over 2 squared. That equals 6 squared, which is 36. So I have to add 36 to both sides here. All right, so if we rewrite that, we are left with x squared plus 12x plus 36. So now this is a perfect square. If you guys set this up on an area model or on an algebra tiles or with them, um, then you would have to add 36 to fill in the gap to make it a complete square. Uh, 69 plus 36 is 105. Okay, again, we can just ignore the right side for now. So now we have to rewrite this as a perfect square. So in this perfect square form. So in order to do that, we have x plus half of the b squared. My b, again, is 12, right? So we have x plus 12 over 2 squared. So that's going to be x plus 6. 6 is half of 12. Equals 105. But they want us to write it in this form with the f of x on one side by itself. So we have to move this 105 back over here. We're just moving it back, that's all it is. So we have x plus six squared minus 105 equals zero, okay? So here in our answer, we're gonna have a six and a minus 105. All right, so again, pause the video if you have not gotten all of this written down yet. And then I'm also going to show you guys their way, okay? So pause the video because I'm going to erase a few things. All right. So over there was our way, and now we're going to do it their way, okay? So 
We have x squared plus 12x minus 69. So they're not even going to worry about any equal signs. They're just like, okay, we have to complete this square. And then we're just going to ignore this negative 69 for a little while. Okay, I guess I'd have to write it way over there. <laughs> I can write it right here. So in order to complete this square, we have to add... Uh, here. We have to add the 12 over 2 squared here. If we add it here, then we have to subtract it from here because they're on the same side, right? We're not having them on either side of the equation. 12 over 2 squared is 6 squared. So that's 36. So really what we're doing here is adding 36. So here we have uh, x squared plus 12x plus 36. And then we have this minus 69 and then minus 36. And the, again, the reason why we have minus 36 is because this is basically me adding a zero and not actually changing my equation in any way. Okay? Super important that you guys recognize that. All right. So then from here, they're going to rewrite it in the perfect square form. Now, we've already done this over here. So just to save us some time, it's the same process as what we did over there. So this we know is x plus 6 squared. And then we have negative 69 minus 36. Put that in your calculator. You should get negative 105. And that is what we got up here. Positive 6 and negative 105. So that is how Khan Academy would do it instead of having the equal sign. But I'm showing you both ways because I've taught you the one on the right. And you guys can learn more about how to manipulate equations you, seeing these two different strategies. So I hope this helped you out. Don't be discouraged. Keep on practicing. Use the hints. Use my video. Use Khan Academy's video. And keep an eye out for more Completing the Square videos from me.